So, you want to bag your Ferrari 488. Hello and welcome to a new video guys. And today, we have yet another Ferrari, yet another supercar in our catalog. And this is actually the 488 Ferrari. The 458 Ferrari is the predecessor to this. Okay? Uh, this is actually a very, very similar car to that car. Technically, they share the same chassis, but they have a different body panel and different engine. The 488 GTB is actually a 4.8 liter V8 turbocharged. The 458 is a 4.5 liter V8 naturally aspirated. So this marks the end of the naturally aspirated Ferraris. This is a turbo Ferrari in that sense. And yeah, ngayon, Majority of you will see on this video, okay, if you have a 458 Ferrari, check the video out here and click on the link below or whatever. But yeah, majority of the, what you will see is very similar to the 458 and you'll be surprised. Ang mga supercar is actually very, very easy to do in terms of under chassis. Ang medyo finicky lang sa Ferrari is yung pagkakalas ng panels and paglalagay ng mga hose line and yung system kasi there's less space than a normal car. Pero the suspension wise, they're very easy. Maraming maraming salamat nga pala sa may-ari ng coaching to. This is his fourth car na pinagawa sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Bossing, I know if you're watching, saludo ako sa inyo. Thanks for trusting me and our team. Thanks for trusting Fitment Engineering for all your air suspension needs, okay? We also do wheels now. So sa tingin nyo na lang, check nyo na lang yung mga samples namin in our videos. If you want wheels, multi-piece wheels, we actually do it as well here in this factory namin here at Lipa City. And now, without further ado, Let's actually discuss the under chassis part of this video. But before anything else, please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for the notification. It really helps. And if you enjoy this type of content, okay, keep watching. You'll learn more about the Ferrari than any other video, okay? So let's get into it right now. Hello and welcome to the front suspension of the Ferrari 488 GTB, which is actually very, very similar to front suspension. <laughs> Uh, Ferrari 458, which is not a surprise because they actually share the same chassis and they just updated the engine interior and the body of this car from the 458 Ferrari and it's technically the same car. We actually just made this video for the hell of it because cataloging each car is our goal. And so to move on, we have a double wishbone suspension with a particular A-frame here or an A, yeah, an A-frame wishbone here, which is very tight, yung clearance niya, as you can see. We had to use a special bag na made for Ferraris talaga. We call it the Super Slims. They're small enough to fit on this A-frame but strong enough to handle the torque capabilities of this car. Kaya, it's 100% approved. This is what we use for R8s, Huracans, and other supercars. Kaya, they're very, very uh, strong. Now, for a double wishbone suspension, we have a ball joint here that rotates the spindle or the wheels itself. So, the whole shock does not uh, rotate with the rotating assembly natin ng steering wheel. So that's good because our hose lines can be fixed on one side and we don't have to worry about our hose lines hitting anything or our bags. Yan advantage ng double wishbone suspension. Okay? Yun lang naman yung gusto ko sabihin sa 488. Other than that, we do have to remind you guys na meron lift kit ang mga 458 here and 488. We have to plug this tomorrow but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna catalog it. So, I'm checking everything as well. Nothing much to discuss on the front. Let's move on to the back side, which is actually very, very similar to the harap. Okay, nothing much to say. Let's go there right now. Hello and welcome to the rear suspension of the Ferrari 488 GTB. So, as I've said kanina, sa front suspension, parehas na parehas lang talaga siya sa Ferrari 458, which is actually a double wishbone suspension. Sorry, it's a multi-link rear suspension, which actually is very simple than the front. We just have a simple toe arm here. And we have our tie rod here. Oh yeah, by the way, 488 and 458 Ferraris, meron silang rear wheel steering. So, makikita nyo on this side. Oh, sama ko na sa trivia natin. We have a tie rod here. So, we can actually adjust the suspensions here. Yung toe niya on the tie rod. So, you don't have to remove everything, every panel on the underarm or the under panel ng koche to access the centric bolts. You can actually adjust your steering adjustment here on the back or yung toe adjustment mo on that tie rod itself. Now, moving on to the air suspension, as I've said, special bags for a special car, Ferrari bags used for the R8, Huracans, and other Ferraris na ginawa namin, F430 and then na ginamit namin. And other than that is, yeah, sa unahan, masikip ang clearance. On the rear, it's another story. It's a very, very spacious area. 
Pero just because it's shy maluwag, uh, we don't have to check anything. But we do still have to check everything, kahit na alam namin na there is space for it. But nonetheless, as I've said kanina, very very simple suspension. Napapansin nyo ba? Napaka simple na mga kotse ng ito pang pagdating sa pangilalim nila. They're very simple. Okay, compared to normal cars, you'll be surprised. It's easier to do a Ferrari than other more common cars. Let's move on to the system of this Ferrari 488, where we discuss the layout choice no meare. Okay. All right. Hello and welcome to the front of the 488 Ferrari. As you can see, we occupy the space for the air suspension system. Ganto rin yung ginawa namin sa blue Ferrari namin ginawa na kinatalog video namin yung 458 Italia. Pero just wanna show you na hindi lahat ng layout ng ginawa namin sa Ferrari kaya ganito. We actually made the 458 Italia na nasa pader yung tanke, nasa ka wheel well yung compressor. But this is what I I would say the most simple way to do it. We just put a wood here. Ito yung original layout ng Ferrari 488 sa unahan. And we have our Fitment Gen 4 with dual compressors mounted on a exo mount system. Okay? The reason why is it provides less vibration and it's easier to pull out the system pag kailangan natin i-maintenance. And nandiyan na siya. The owner said, okay, I just want the car to be flashy. Oh yeah, we have a wire here for his lights. Okay, lagyan natin ito ng ilaw. And then, yeah. Kasabay ng ating front light. He wants it to be more of a display uh, type of car. Gusto niyang ipakita yung air suit. So, lalagyan natin ito ng plaque, ng fitment faceplate here to commemorate the air suspension. But regardless, yeah, he, he can still use some space here. Pero hindi lahat. Hindi mo na magagamit yung full potential. Even on the start naman kasi, dito nakakabit yung spare tire niya. So, itong part na to, dito yung hoist niya. So, I still can't use the space. Hindi mo na utilize But for now, yeah, that's going to be it. Very, very simple. Diyan namin nilagay. Nothing else much to discuss. So, let's bring down the car on the floor and let's discuss the outro of this vehicle. Hello and welcome to the outro of the video. The car is back on the floor. So, how was the under chassis discussion? Konting summary lang. Double wishbone suspension, tight A-frame. Okay, multi-link rear suspension, maluwag yung clearance, front layout na pinili ng client, ay display na lang, yun yung napili ng owner. So, this is our second Ferrari here in Lipa, actually, or third Ferrari here in Lipa. So, anyway, let's actually discuss the vehicle dynamics of the car so we can get onto it. Pero, there's nothing much to discuss dito, ah. Stock wheels kasi yan. So, we're not gonna discuss the fitment of the car. Kasi, mahina yung fitment ng kotse dahil stock mugs pa. Okay? The owner will change it to a 21 inch or 22 inch in the future. Pero for now, pakita na natin yung lift capability nito. Kasi sayang, di ba? Pakita natin kung bakit siya nagpa-air suspension. So, ito yung lift capability ng unahan and likod. So, kita nyo, bilis ang mga tong kotse. The bags are really strong for that size. So, ang gawin natin, let's actually check the clearance, okay? We're gonna measure it on finger gaps, but I know how much is going to be the actual measurements. We're looking at around 5 finger gaps. Okay, one finger is 15 millimeters, so you're looking at what, 75 millimeters? Tama ba ako? 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. Tama. So, a 75 millimeter lift from the clearance nitong wheels. So, you can run as slow as no finger gap. Sa likod naman, since the fender's a bit narrower here, around four fingers, 60 millimeters. So, ang real reason na kung bakit siya nagpa-air sauce is because yung lift system ng Ferrari sa unahan na stock is hindi ganun kataas compared to air sauce. Actually, we can still go higher if we put more pressure on the car. Let's see how much that is. Now, maluwag siyang five fingers and let's see. Yeah, five fingers na rin sa likod. So, yun yung kanyang benefit talaga. It's actually connected to the car again. And air out na natin yung kotse. Okay, let's drop it slowly muna sa front. And on the rear, of course. So, one thing you need to know nga pala, medyo mahina ang signal ng Bluetooth namin pag ganitong front layout kasi all of that aluminum sheet metal is blocking the signal. So, that's why I'm putting the phone inside the car kasi dito meron siyang signal sa loob. Okay? The front is dropped. Let's drop the rear. And that's it. Di ba? So, ito naman yung riding height niya. That's his riding height. Pag gusto niya mas mababa pa sa riding height niya, like even lower, we can drive it at this height. And then what else? Bilang naman. 
It's a very, very functional build. Okay? That's the benefit of the air suspension for this car. Okay? You'll be surprised how simple they are and how much they need air suspension. Okay? Because you can't drive this car anywhere else kung wala kang air. You can't go out of Manila. And ngayon, nasa lipa kami. And the, the client can go anywhere here. So, yun yung benefit niya. Okay? We also do wheels na rin, ha? So, I'm pretty sure the client will be, you know, interested to three-piece this wheel. Let's see. Hopefully, we can. But for now, that's going to be it. It's a very simple video. We have already done this car. It's basically a 458 with a different engine and a beefed-up face. Diba? Okay. It's been Kyle from Fitment Engineering and you're watching Fitment TV. Please subscribe to the channel. Okay? Like and share the video and hit the bell icon for a notification. It really helps the channel. And we've done so many videos now. Let's actually count them soon. Uh, I don't know if we had a hundred episodes na here, but I'm hoping na nakagawan tayo na madaming kotse. We're almost done with every car in the market, so it's pretty surprising. Okay? Is the 488 a great stance car? It is. Every Ferrari. It's a Ferrari, bro. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay? See you soon. Bye.